Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Hope everyone had a good Saturday. I had a fun day. I decided to do a paint, uh, do some more painting today. I like to paint once in a while, and I wanted to do a um, self-portrait. So I did some painting today. Comes like this. Looks like this. Kind of a uh, what I've done with my uh, self-portrait, or you know, my Mr. Comics A9 logo, but in reverse, kind of a thing. So. That's what I'm doing for my, that's what I'm doing. That's my artwork. I'll be posting progress on Instagram and then I'll be doing a full, you know, time fast forward video here on YouTube once I've got that done. It's just a fun video to do, see what I'm going to do. And then I also uh, went ice skating with my son today. So it was fun. So I got a bunch of packages today. <laughs> One from, you know, the two here were the... On the subject of the show, I'll show what's in the box from Discovery Bay. A um, t-shirt. Hey, NYC, how's it going? My t-shirt that I, I got from Teespring's finally here. And a mystery I had no idea was coming package. Or at least I forgot about it. So we'll open these from Discovery Bay first, since it's what's in the subject of the show. These are from his pop-up shop. And this... Box is uh, a little loud. Sorry about that. Is what I got from the uh, community pop-up shop. I won the Facebook share thing. So JB, I won a blade pop. You know, from the, from the uh, prizes for the pop-up shop uh, marathon last Saturday. So that was that. It was cool. All right. Next up, we'll get them to the boxes. So, let's get into it. Ah. Yeah, I liked it. It was like, it was cool. It's nice to win something. All right. Good to have a uh, a box back. I sent JB's books that he bought for me in one of my things here, and so I like to have these around. All right, first up, the uh, yeah, what's in the box? This is uh, I believe a reprint exactly. Yeah, it's, I believe it's a reprint of a. Uh, that Flash Superman race, or Superman 463, I believe. So, cool box. Or cool box, cool, cool comic in um, Kevlar. Like I said, I believe it's a reprint of what they said, but if not, oh well, it's still a pretty book. I like it a lot. Won't waste time taking up all the, well, I guess I will take it off. Come on, JB. You can't put it. Put some uh, pull tabs on these <laughs> things. <laughs> Got a uh, the black cat number one. I believe it was the uh, Walmart one or whatever, but I didn't have it, and I kind of wanted it. But so when I got it there, I got it there. All right. There we go. Superman 87, Bizarro World. So I want to thank everyone who's watching this. I know between uh, BLC's auction and uh, Reggie doing a premiere video or going live or something here at 6 that the options are busy. Superman 86. Really cool. Really cool. Nice, nice space photo. So, uh, all right, Green Lantern 107. Cool as a key of some kind. And Action Comics 646. So, those are cool. All right. 
Green are the new Green Lanterns, number five. I believe I got this for a gift from my brother. So I figured why not? He would like it. My brother likes Green Lantern. All right, next up. I'm getting warm up in the box. We'll get them all, most of them out. Superman, Wonder Woman, number 25. I just liked the cover. Here we go. Siege, number four of four. That's actually one of my major pet peeves, possibly wrong use of the term. I I think I assume you're talking about the conversation in the chat. So cool book. Favorite part about the cover, Spider-Man on the cover. All right. All right, Superman. Left a little tape on there. Oopsie. Superman, uh, new Krypton special, one shot. Cool book. Ah. Come on, use blue painter's tape. <laughs> uh, Spider Man, City at War. Number one, free, uh, definitely, I remember this for sure. It was one of the free books well, from a free round. So, pretty cool. Um, maybe. I mean, I added my uh, ASM 5 <laughs> up here. So, there's definitely one more book there. But I don't think there's any new books, you know? So, maybe since the last time you stopped by, Bear. But, yeah, thank you for stopping by. All right. Superman. Oh, The Adventures of Superman. 510. It's really hard to read. Bizarro world. Backward writing. And the last book I got from JB. I liked the newspaper format. Uh, Judge Dread. Number 25. I just like that newspaper look to it. So, figured why not. All right. Easy. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't... I don't think I added any new books to it. Other than this one behind me. I mean, I did... I have rearranged a little bit up there. So, maybe it just looks like there's more. All right. I'm going to open this one next because I'm just super excited about it. I ordered a t-shirt from my ch uh, uh, for me, for my channel, from Teespring. The link can be found on my main page if anyone is interested. But I had to get one for myself. This thing looks cool. All right. So, it got me got me a black T-shirt. I'm gonna wear it to my first. Oh no, I said my first, my second Comic Con. So, so, yeah, I think it looks pretty darn sweet. Now I don't now I have a t now I have a T-shirt, not just my uh hoodie. <laughs> So that's cool. Cannot wait. It'd be very hard not to wear this constantly until then because I don't want to wear I don't want to <laughs> wear out the design wearing it all the time. So, all right, time to open the package. Last package. I have no idea or I don't remember for sure if I, something I ordered, you know, some, surprised me. So, but yeah, if anyone wants a shirt like this, you just go to my main page there. There's a link to Teespring, Teespring, and I have this and a bunch of other colors. I have a hoodie. I have a woman's t-shirt. Just if anyone wants anything. All right. Oh, 
yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember this. I got it on a, it was a Instagram buy. <laughs> well, I don't think she'll say that because I like to wear, I mean, you've seen my other, my other videos. I wear my blue uh, channel t-shirt and all that. It was my, a Christmas present for my wife and my mother-in-law. So because it's winter time, we don't we don't want to jack up the thermostat, you know, to keep the house warm. So if we're a little cold, we keep the you know it's a certain temperature, and if we're a little cold, we put on a sweater. And so I've been putting on my Mister Comics eighty nine hoodie, you know that, and wearing that. So she has a problem with that. She shouldn't have got it. So I got um Fantastic Four number thirty eight. I think it's first. Appearance of the Frightful Four or second appearance, I think. I don't think. Anyway, forget what I got this for. I want to say like 15 bucks, but I'm not sure. Hey, Comic Mag, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by. So nice. Nice. Double digit Fantastic Four. So. It's in rough shape, definitely rough shape, you know. Bottom staple definitely looks detached on the cover. I'm not sure about the top. Like I said, I knew it was very, very, very low grade. Maybe not as low as my uh, ASM 14 back there, but I knew there was a chance at a low grade, so I'm not complaining. It's, it was a chance to get a double digit, a double issue Fantastic Four for cheap, so that's what I got. So that's all there is to it as far as uh, as far as the packages. For those of you who didn't stop by until later on, I showed this first off. I'm doing this painting. I like to paint once in a while. So I'm try I decided I wanted to do a self-portrait. So kind of a reverse of my channel logo. So in the channel logo, I'm pulling out, you know, you can see I'm Superman, Superman uh Costume with Spider-Man in the background. So now I'm wearing a Spider-Man suit and Superman's crest is in the background. So let me know what you guys think. You know, I'm you know took a couple of pictures and I'm recording video as I'm making it because I wanted to just do a fast-forward video of it because I thought it'd be fun to finally do one of those. So that's that and all that. So, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, so once I'm all done with the painting, I'll put it all together in a, you know, fast forward live stream. I won't be talking, it'll just be music, and, you know, you'll be seeing me painting up the wazoo and drawing it out. So it's looking pretty good, I think. You know, um, it might be a little bit before it's done because I'm, I'm a tough uh, critic when it comes to my artwork. And I'm an even tougher critic when it comes to drawing me. You know, I'm going to look at it and go, my nose isn't right. I must have spent 20 or 30 minutes on my nose just drawing the line, erasing it, drawing the line, erasing it, and going too short, too, you know, you know, too short, too long, too bulging at the end. It's like, <laughs> I think I finally got it the way I want it to. So, but that's not, that's cool. So I can't wait to get to that to do that into the video and all that and like i said it'll be an overview shot down while i'm doing it so it'll be fun it'll definitely be fun so thank you everyone bear comic mag nyc thank you guys for showing up i do appreciate it very much and i can't wait to do my next video so i'm sure there are other channels out there going live at this moment you know and what blc has his auction Reggie, I'm not sure if he's doing a premiere or he's going live, but there's his channel and a bunch of other things. When it comes to noses, less details usually looks better. True, true, but I do not want my nose to look like Snow White on uh, uh, Snow White on Disney's movie. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I swear. Disney, Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. She literally looks like Voldemort's girlfriend. Two slits, in her, two slits in her face, and the smallest line, and it's like she looks like Voldemort's daughter or girlfriend. It's like seriously, what the hell 
what are you thinking, Disney? You, you couldn't have brought in a plastic surgeon? How do you, what do you think that looks like? I think it looks like you beat the shit out of her and then shoved her on stage. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. Less detail... But then that's also why I kind of try to do a side portfolio. So, I, you know, if I find people looking sideways, slightly sideways and having the nose face this way, it's a little easier to do it. But if I did a direct like this, it's a lot harder for me to be happy with it. Well, I will definitely try. Uh, shadowing is definitely the skill I still lack. I've done a lot. I've done other shadowing, you know, because you can see. Two examples of my artwork right here, but I've done no shadowing on them because I'm scared to screw it up. You know, I think I've only done shadowing on one or two paintings, and I risked it because I cared about them an awful lot, and so I'm surprised I even risked it. So, like I said, when it comes to this one here down here, I don't know what I'll do because... It'll be me, and I really don't want to screw up my face. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose anything I do could would be an improvement. To... <laughs> All right, I'm not going to try to get you guys on any longer. Thank you for showing up. It's been a lot of fun, and see you guys next time. Oh, Monday will be my next um, part five, I think, or part six of my Amazing Spider-Man collection. So... Stay tuned for that. It'll be the usual time at 7 p.m. my time. So it'll be 6 p.m. Pacific time. So see you guys on Monday at night. And until next time, happy collecting, everyone. And I'll see you later. Bye.